This video covers annuities, which is a concept found in IB Maths AI in topic one, number and algebra under the subtopic of financial mathematics. Okay, let's firstly talk about what an annuity is uh, and the way in which they're structured and try to visualize how they work. Okay, an annuity is an investment option that usually retirees uh, tend to use. So people that have just finished work, maybe they're 60 or 65, and they have some savings built up through their work years. Maybe it was compulsory through a, say, a 401k or a pension plan or a superannuation fund. There's sort of different words for it around the world. Maybe it was compulsory, but but maybe they also did it voluntarily as well. They, they had the discipline to put some money away during their working years to fund their retirements. Now, what an annuity provides them, if they choose to invest in one, is a fixed payment over a number of years. The benefit of that to the retiree is that they don't need to be worried about the fluctuations of maybe the stock market or interest rates or the other characteristics of uh, investment, investment options out there. They want to enjoy their retirement. They don't want to be worried about it all. They don't want the stress. So they can just say, okay, I'm going to roll my money into an annuity. And that's the phrase used, that you roll money into an annuity. And then that annuity provider, it could be a bank or it could be some sort of financial institution or an insurance company, they will say, okay, I'm now going to pay you, certainly, it's not going to vary, I'm going to pay you a fixed amount over the next, say, 20 or 30 years into your retirement. Now, you may be wondering, well, what's the benefit of an annuity provider? Well, where they make their money is the difference in the interest rate. So they might quote a retiree, hey, we're going to make 5% return on your money. But they actually think that they, that they can make, say, 7%. So they make their profit or their money on the difference between the interest rates. But let's just have a look at this diagram here. So this uh, this example annuity here, so someone invested or rolled their money, sorry, into a $300,000 annuity. They get a fixed annual repayment over 20 years of $30,000 each year. So maybe they're a retiree, maybe they own their home, so their, their cost of living uh, isn't as high as say a 30 year old or a 40 year old. They can live off $30,000 a year. They just get that fixed amount, which is the dark green, um, all the way into their retirements, and the balance of their annuity just goes down over the over time as the thirty grand is sort of withdrawn each uh, withdrawn sorry each year. Okay, let's now dig into this further with it with an example, and we're going to solve this using the finance solver, otherwise known as the TVM solver, on the calculator. Okay, this example reads: I have five hundred thousand dollars in retirement savings. So I built that up over my working years. I decide to roll this money into an annuity. So I don't want the stress of the stock market. I just want fixed amounts. I don't want to have to read the newspapers in the morning and see you know, changes to um, economic conditions. So I roll this money into an annuity and the annuity provider uh, returns 6% compounded annually. I want this to last for 30 years. So maybe I'm 60 years old and think that I'm gonna to live to 90. So I want these fixed payments over a 30 year period as I, as I enjoy my retirement. Find the annual payments that I receive if I have these characteristics. Okay, let's solve this using the finance solver. Let's bring that up. So on the TI Inspire, we find that by going menu, finance, finance solver. Now, I'm not going to spend too long going through the details of every line here because there's a separate video in this video series all about how the finance solver works. So let's just go through and enter in the information that we have. N is the number of payment periods. Now, it's the payments are on an annual basis and the compounding nature is annually and it's 30 years. So our period is going to be years. And since it's over 30 years, the N will be 30. The interest rate is 6%. The present value, this is the part that sort of confuses students, is it positive or negative or what number is it? I like to think about it from a cash flow perspective. So at the start, when I roll my money into this annuity, I give the annuity provider $500,000. So it's a negative number. It goes out of my personal bank account into their account. So this will be negative 500,000. Now the payment per period is what we're trying to find out. What do you receive as a fixed payment per year? So we, we make that blank. The future value will be zero because the amount in the annuity balance at the end of the 30 years will be zero. Now the 
Number of payments per year will be one. It says here that I um, find the annual repayments that I receive, so it's one. The compounding periods per year is one as well. It says that the 6% is compounded annually. And this final one here, I actually didn't, didn't specify it in the question, so you may need to read the question as to whether the payments will occur at the start of the year or at the end of the year. Let's assume for an annuity that the payment is the start of the year because the retiree needs the money at the start of the year to fund their cost of living for the year ahead. So let's say it is at the beginning. We now go up to the empty cell, the payments per period, which will be the payments that this retiree, uh, that I, sorry, I'm saying I here, that I receive per year. I hit enter and see how it's a positive number. So from a cash flow perspective, I receive 34,268. Let's just write that down. So in this example here, uh, with these characteristics of this annuity um, provider, 6% over 30 years with this initial savings, I can guarantee an annual uh, payment, fixed payment of 34,268, which is good for peace of mind. I don't need to worry about anything else. I can just go about my interests, whether it's playing golf or playing lawn bowls or whatever it is. Uh, and I know that this is got, I'm going to receive this every year. Okay, uh, there are annuities questions are asked at different, in different ways. Sometimes you need to maybe find the interest rate or maybe sometimes you need to find the initial value required for fixed repayments. This was just one example in the way in which an annuities question can be asked. So I recommend practicing some of these questions over in the question bank section. And that concludes our video on annuities.